resting quietly atop a hill at the end of a narrow winding road is a centuries-old church filled with ghosts. But they're not exactly what you might be expecting. Let's take a look inside and go exploring past the present future. We begin our exploration at the back of the church's sanctuary. Although we saw photos of the ghosts before our arrival, it was quite surreal to see them in person. They have an almost animated quality as if they are attending and worshipping at a church service. I'm exploring with my longtime friend and fellow explorer, Michael. During our research of the church, we learned that its village was mostly abandoned and that the church itself was abandoned almost 50 years prior. Although the church is open to the public for a few hours each week, we happened to arrive at a time when no one was available to provide access. Despite our unfortunate timing, we managed to get inside and have a look around. While filming and photographing, we took great care to avoid interacting with and possibly damaging the church and ghosts. The church property and portions of its presbytery and sacristy date back to the mid-14th century. However, this building is one of three that were reconstructed after devastating wars and fires. This version of the church, with its neo-Gothic architecture complemented by a Renaissance baptistry, was rebuilt in 1800. It survived with periodic renovations until 1968, when it was abandoned after a funeral service. During that service, a section of the roof collapsed and, according to online sources, it scared people into believing the church was haunted. But fortunately, various registries, books, and other church documents were saved before it became abandoned. Fast forward to 2012, when art student Jacob Hadrava created a series of ghost sculptures as his bachelor's thesis. He sculpted each ghost from wire, mesh, plaster, and phosphorus. The phosphorus sometimes gives the ghosts an eerie glow after absorbing sunlight during the daytime. Thanks to international interest in Jacob's installation, the church has received more than 25,000 euros in visitors' admission fees over the years. 
The roof was repaired, and the church has taken on a new, unorthodox life. 